everyone and welcome back to today's video in which I decided to share with you top 10 least worn perfumes from my collection that I'm aware is not the biggest among all fragrance enthusiasts out there. However, in my opinion, it is relatively big and even though there are perfumes that I love and wear constantly, there are also such fragrances that don't receive that much attention from me and today we'll try to figure out why together and I'm sure you also own such fragrances that you don't wear all that often, so please go ahead and share them with me in the commentary section because I would like to know about them. And don't forget to follow me on my social media such as Instagram where I post personal type of perfume content and on Facebook where I update you about my new YouTube uploads and on Patreon you will get exclusive perfume content in form of written reviews, updates and so on. That's why check out the description box down below where you'll find helpful information regarding my social media and mention perfumes. And with that being said, let's get started and find out what's wrong with these fragrances. All right, to make this video more entertaining and fun to watch, I decided to rank these perfumes starting at number 10 perfume that I kind of wear but not that often and we'll make our way to the number one perfume that I might worn in my life just once and that's all. All right, so so at number 10 we have perfume from a great indie Australian house called Fortin Manley and when I received a sample pack from them right when I first started reviewing perfumes I was obsessed with them and I raved and raved and raved about them until all the other reviewers got the hype and that's uh, the way it works here. I discover awesome fragrances that uh, become popular years after that and that happened with Fortin Manley and one of their greatest perfumes that I got because I had a feeling that I couldn't live without it is charlatan that looks like this very very beautiful and you guys the reason why I don't wear this absolutely awesome fragrance is because it is so special that at some point it is too special and I don't have many special occasions where I can rock this perfume that to me smells just like lilies do which are my most favorite flowers and I could even sleep in a room with the lilies that's how big my love to them is and this perfume is a real charlatan because in there there is jasmine and no lilies because there is actually no such thing as lily absolutely you literally need to reconstruct their aroma and it just smells sugary, sweet, chocolatey, uh, so so good. I literally love this perfume so much and I wish I wore it more often. So yeah, I'm obsessed with it, still a favorite of mine, but just a bit too special. Guys, the next perfume right at uh, ninth spot is from Liberty Fragrance, awesome niche house from Canada that I reviewed um, when I started uh, reviewing perfumes. That was one of my most um, hidden gem discoveries in terms of indie perfumery and I like a lot of their perfumes and this one is not the bad one. It's on the hippie side because of patchouli and oak moss and rose in there and I actually wore it a lot when it was rainy and uh, snowing and just uh, being windy and unpleasant outside but there is something about it that doesn't really work for me and uh, it comes through only when I wear it because when I sniff on the bottle it's awesome. Let me know if you also had an experience with perfume that smells awesome when you spray it on a paper or smell it on the bottle but doesn't really work for you but I don't hate this perfume, it's awesome. I just don't wear it that often because it's not necessarily my type of a thing. Guys, next perfume right at the 8th spot is from Jo Malone and that's their Jasmine Sambuck and Marigold which is a perfume that I wanted to own and my boyfriend uh, gifted me this one for the Valentine's Day a few years ago and in my opinion it's actually a good Jasmine from... Jo Malone that's kind of on the designerish side because it's commercial and mess appealing but uh, you might uh, know that I have a big problem with Jasmine perfumes because on me they are all very overwhelming especially from mainstream brands and this one is kind of fresh it has almost like um, a hairspray aroma and I like it but I don't wear it all that often which is strange maybe I should give it more attention and love and um, 
wear it to work, for example, right? Because it's most appealing, it's jasmine, a lot of people love jasmine, I will wear it more often. I like this video, I like where we are going. Guys, next perfume is actually from Prine Parfum that does not exist anymore. It was founded by Prine La Rose, who is one of my favorite perfumers, and we shot an amazing interview with Prine. You should definitely watch it, guys, because it is a lot of fun. And when I first learned about that brand, I was just like so obsessed because Prine from Thailand creates very complex perfumes and this one, Rosaria, was actually nominated for Art Mill Faction Awards, which is one of the most prestigious awards in niche and indie perfumery that we won with the Sun Prince Collide for our powder and dust. This perfume didn't win, but that doesn't make it less of a good fragrance because it's so gorgeous and it is a beautiful take on the note of rose in there we have lots of rosy um, moments because there are different rose ingredients in there it's incense it's balmy it's oily it's uh, very spiritual it was actually inspired by Shana Dark and I don't wear that often because print perfume does not exist anymore and it can't be repurchased and I just don't want to run out of it and I'm very agree with the application of my perfumes I'm guilty on that one of my new year's resolutions was to apply more of my perfumes but I'm just like I buy an expensive fragrance and then I'm just like uh, scared to wear it so I just stare at it I sniff on a bottle but I rarely wear perfumes uh, that uh, are not available anymore or that are very expensive so yeah that's kind of the case with Rosaria which is an awesome fragrance and if you can get it oh my god get it because it's awesome guys we are coming to the next perfume which is poisonous Veneno by Miguel Matos, created by Christian Carbonell, and uh, this perfume is so unique, maybe that's the reason why I don't wear it, because it's not that wearable to me, it smells like sterexy, dirty powdery, sexy um, man to me, uh, also it does smell of plastic bags, maybe that's because of sterex once again, I don't know, but this perfume is very cool, it's not for everybody, it's kind of for a special occasion, once again, the majority of time I am at home, doing my stuff. I don't go out that often, but if I did, I would wear this perfume because it's awesome for that, with great performance, longevity, and blah blah blah. You guys, we are coming to the next perfume, which is from January Scent Project, and when I first learned about that American indie house, I was obsessed with it because the notes were so cool in that fragrances, and I was able to do an interview with John Beevil, who is the perfumer and owner of this awesome house. You should definitely watch it after this video, and I reviewed all of his perfumes, and his newest one, Serene, should be definitely my type of a thing because it's powdery, and you know how much I love powdery perfumes and this one is heavy on heliotrope which can be a bit pungent and there are marigolds so with their grassy and a little bit uh, metallic aroma and the reason why I don't wear this perfume is simply because it is too strong. Yeah, can imagine that uh, longevity and beast performance can be um, a disadvantage for somebody, <laughs> apparently for me. Yeah, this perfume is great, it's very very strong, if you're looking for beastly perfumes, you should definitely look into January perfume line. Guys, next perfumes, things are getting extra juicy right now, and this one is actually from Zoologist, and I love Victor Wong, I love his creative mind and um, the direction where it takes him and us to, and this perfume that was created by St. Fritz Collide is Hyrex, and you guys, this is definitely farm in a bottle with all that horse poo poo scent and stuff like that. And uh, literally, you'll be surrounded by all kind of domestic animals wearing this perfume. And if I'm in the mood for something extra dirty and skanky, I'm rushing out for this. But it's not a super wearable perfume, and people won't really appreciate it. So it's definitely for those who love dirty animal perfumes. And there are not many occasions where I can pull off such scents and this perfume is really really heavy and intense and pungent and it is not a um, funny scent, it's hardcore and uh, it's very very strong so yeah that uh, can be a good thing, that can be a bad thing in my occasion I just don't know how to dose it correctly <laughs> alright with that being said another perfume from Prin Love Rose that I don't wear all that often but really enjoy is Wicked John and of course I want to have it because of the name because Wicked John, John Wick, Keanu Reeves, oh my god I need to have it 
that right? Did you understand me? So anyway, I think this perfume would suit Keanu Reeves in his role as John Wick perfectly because it literally smells of gun smoke, it smells metallic of guns, there is a soil cord in there, lavender, it smells herbal and very masculine, just too masculine for me. That's why I will save it for Keanu Reeves. We are coming to the second least worn perfume from my collection and this is Lucrezia from Quinto Canto that belongs to Tiziano and Paolo Terenzi and that might be shocking that I am mentioning Quinto Canto perfume in this video because I've just done a video on my top 10 Quinto Canto favorites and as always I can't love everything and Lucrezia is definitely a perfume that is a miss for me even though I know that many people love this perfume and I can totally understand why it's quite commercial, it smells jasmine it smells very sweet and just not my type of thing because uh, every time I have it on I just um, can't stand uh, the strength of it but I like to spray it on my grandma because it's very feminine so yeah that's kind of the problem with Lucrezia for me and my least worn perfume I'm ready for this it's actually from one of my most favorite indie German houses which is of course SP Farms and this is Delirious Iris that we started working on with Sven together but I didn't like the direction where he took it to because he added high dose of something very dirty and soily to this gorgeous sweet Iris and the result is it smells like soily ground after the rain um, and I'm not the fan of dirty nuances in the perfumery, especially I don't like perfumes that smell like soil, think of bad visologists, and if you wish you had a perfume smelling exactly like it but uh, without bananas uh, and with iris instead, I would recommend you this one because you can see that somebody wore it and that was actually my mom, she kind of likes it but I extra asked her not to wear it when I'm around because I can't stand that uh, ground soil in there but overall this perfume is kind of nice but oh my god that soil ruins it for me and every time I have it on I'm like oh my god go away because you know Sven is known for his beast mode perfumes and with that being said that completes this video which I hope you enjoyed watching maybe I should do another video like it with my least worn perfume purchases of the year let me know if that sounds uh, like something you might be interested in and please request future content that you want to see from me next in the comments because I love to hear from you I love to chat with you don't forget to let me know which perfumes you wear least from your collection and maybe there are fragrances uh, I've mentioned in this video that you are excited to try out or maybe you own it and don't wear them let me know your thoughts and feedback I just had this idea for the video it came into my mind when I couldn't fall asleep so yeah let me know if you enjoyed these chatty videos and thank you so much for watching make sure to like share and subscribe if you are new here hit that bell and stay tuned smell good we'll see you in the next one really soon bye guys